been out here wrestling around these 16 foot long 2x6s. Got this one up, it's good to go. Right here is where my higher roof line drops down. So this 2x6 has to go all the way to here. So just figured that out after I've got it all screwed down. So I'm going to have to unscrew that and move it. Well, I managed to kick that video off on a negative note. Sometimes that's the way things go when you're doing construction, or at least when I'm doing construction. You put it up there the way you think it's going to go, and you start taking a look at it, and you go, oh, no, that's not it. So I installed this pole extra because it was the ending point of my 12-foot section that's a little bit higher. All of these other poles that are sticking up higher, all of those are pole extensions that I've put on. I'll show you the back side of that later, but just added that to the existing pole to extend it up two feet. So really what I did do, I do plan on having to cut all of these down. They're a little tall. But what I did, and I'll sh again, I'll show you on the back, I cut the existing pole down. That's why these aren't connected. I put the... Instead of putting it up at the very top, I cut it down so that there would be a clamp around the fence to kind of tie everything together better. Along with me jumping on the other side of the fence and showing you how those uh, pole extensions work, at the 4 minute and 15 second mark, I'm going to be hanging a uh, walk gate, be putting the ball bearings in those and hanging it. And then coming up at the 8 minute and 30 second mark, I'm going to be cutting out rafters, bird's mouth, and putting the uh, angle on the end of the rafter. And I've got a little trick to show you there on how you can do that and cut all of the rafters out and only have to mark them one time. So if you don't already know that tip, be sure to uh, hang around for that or jump ahead. And before um, you tune out, take a second to subscribe, like, share it with somebody that would enjoy this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would do that. So these are the extensions I was telling you about. I put one on the put one of these on every pole. Like I say, the pole did come up to here. I cut the pole down here, attached it down here, so that we'll have a, a clamp around this as well. But this is real sturdy, so good to go either way. quick explanation of what's going on here. This is where the rafter is going to come down. I'm going to put a little bird's mouth in the rafter and it'll go right over the top of this. So looks like, you know, the shortest height here is going to be right over six feet. So uh, it's going to be really good for walking in here. And then of course on the other side I'm going to have seven and a half, almost eight feet. going to do is we're going to get this gate. I've got it on upside down right now, but I need to get this on top of this with a ball bearing in it. So I've taken some, uh, this, this has to be grease. There's a grease fitting on top. So I've taken, I've got some white lithium grease here that I've thrown in the freezer for five minutes to hopefully thicken it up. And I'm going to put a bunch of grease down in this. Oh, and the, the beauty of it is there's two of these, and I got to do them both at the same time, so can't see it on the camera, but I'm doing the top one too, so putting lots of grease in there in hopes that this little metal ball bearing will stay in there. We shall 
see. Actually, very surprised that that worked. <clears throat> okay, for this kickboard, which, which it's often called, we're going to be using some plastic lumber. I'm using these self drilling screws. So, those will drill through the lumber and then directly through the metal and uh, tap the metal and it'll be locked in. Uh, it comes with a nice bit here. Definitely recommend something like this over a Phillips. Just makes life a lot easier. I like using these metal posts. I know they're not common everywhere. They're very common here in the Dallas area. But they work really well. And these uh, Simpson Strong Tie P, G, T, 2, E's. P is in Paul. G is in Girl. T is in Tom. 2, E is in Edward. Grip Tie. Those things hold great. They're easy to use. Um, I'm putting four uh, one and a half inch lag screws in here. They don't poke out the other end. And uh, you can, it'll, it'll grip to the post and then you can like ungrip it and put it where you need it and kind of hold it. And then another piece locks in and goes over the post and then you screw that in tight with the bolt provided and it is locked down and not going anywhere. Love these. Great product. As promised earlier, here's the little tip trick on cutting rafters. As you can see, I cut the top one that I had marked, cut through the next one, as I'm doing again here, and it leaves a cutout um, so that I don't have to mark any of the next ones. So there we go. There we're marked for the next one, ready to go. Did not know about that till seeing a guy from uh, Essential Craftsman do that on his YouTube channel, and that was a new one for me, and I like it. Hopefully you learned something new on this, or at least was entertained, and uh, you can catch the next episode where I actually put these rafters up uh, next Friday. So thanks in advance for subscribing, and look forward to you catching my next video then. Thanks a lot.